you know, I'm not happy about it. That is the best club I've had in the league wide. But the real holy place in Phipsborough. Football! Yes, the legs. Oh, goodbye. The Lee Rush ball, man, said. I know I'm well, but I have not this straight away. I know I'm going to get slagged off. I went to the shave and I caught me the ice hand. Well, the last time I put one on, I tell you, I'm neutral. I just like this top. And I picked over a song. It's very hard to find my size. And a couple of tops at a couple of seasons old, about 40 quid, this cost me. So, look, if there's any other Lee Rider tops that are an XL, I am a big lad uh, going out there. And you're setting up a good price. Let me know. I am interested, but look, I've got the top one. Um, I'm here for the big one tonight, CFAI Cup third round between two giants of Dublin, the Dublin Derby, Bohemia versus Shamrock Rovers. The only is St Peter's Church, but the real holy place in Phipsborough is Dayton Mount Park. That's according to those fans anyway. Now look, um, let's talk a little bit about the history of the cup um, between these two sides. They faced each other first time in 1921. Um, Rivers actually won that one, won the old Dayton Mount Park. They faced each other 14 times in the FAI Cup since it began. Both won three, four draws and seven victories for Shamrock Rovers. The most recent meeting though was a Daily Mount Park. It was one all after full time but Bo snuck that one 2-1. Um a fantastic goal by Ali Coote. Let's take a little look at that now. Austin the boy all having a think little quick one. Coote has a goal. Great shot oh! oh my it's god what a goal, goal. And, it's the post, and it is the Scotsman whoa, whoa, Ali Coote wow. and it's nothing less Yeah recently signed for Shells as well. That's an exciting signing for and you have to say uh, and then an equaliser by the well-renowned uh, exposed player, actually, for Shamrock Rovers, um, Pico Lopez. Let's take a little look at that. Cross from Watts, back post. Looks like Graham Burke gets it back inside. Oh, it's a block, and it's a goal for Shamrock Rovers. It's Roberto Lopez against his former club. A really, really scrappy goal from a Bohemian. Yeah, look, maybe not the same quality as uh, Ali Coots, but then and an absolute fantastic finish let's take a little look at that as well can build again Dawson Devoy 1-2 with Andy Lyons Lyons drives at Rovers Lyons on the edge of the box left footed what a oh! goal oh! Oh! What a goal oh! lovely little jinking run on the left hand side bust straight the bottom, man. bottom left hand corner let's talk a little bit about the form as well while we're here so Bose 1 win 11 they're desperate for a win here aren't they let's be honest now um, that win again slow go away from home but they've lost against Sligo, like David Mann, in their most recent games. So they're really desperate for a win here. They lost Conley during the week, which I think is a bit of a blow from personally. I think he wears his absolute socks off. Um, good winger, maybe didn't create enough, was probably what the only critic would be, but he wears his socks off and played for the badge, that's a certain. Uh, they have signed two players recently, though, with Devoy and Grieve. So they won't be missing them too much. Um, it looks like Bo's going to be slightly packed in the middle of the pile of the players that they've signed recently. Um, I wonder if Reynolds is going to try and squeeze them all in like we saw with Flores last week playing the centre half. I wonder if he's going to try and squeeze them all in or uh, is he going to try and play assistant and maybe leave a couple of the players out. That'd be interesting to see. Let's talk about Shamrock Rovers then. So, massive win in Tala on Tuesday night when they went down to 10 men uh, against Viking over Reykjavik. Obviously massive for the club in general. But massive financially, it sets up an absolute mouth-watering tie against Sparta Prague. And there'll be some tired legs out there tonight. They had to work really hard for that victory. And I just wonder, um, will they have one eye on Tuesday's fixture of Tala against Sparta Prague? They'll be up for that one for certain. It's nearly a sellout already. Um, they'll be up for that one, that's for sure. Uh, the Rover squad's kind of depleting as it is at the moment. A lot of injuries. Uh, the bench didn't look too strong against Viking or Reykjavik. There was a couple of players, Ferugia, uh, Richie Tao, Noonan and the likes that you could have brought on. But um, they weren't, they didn't have riches of talent, I would say, on the bench. Um, 
but they haven't been in glistening form themselves in the league so they may want to get one over their arch rivals tonight what do I think the score's going to be I'm going to go 2-1 Bows tonight I think they need to win this one and I'm not just saying that because I've got the top on tonight but I just think they need to win this one tonight um, I think it might kickstart this season they need a kickstart at some stage and as I said I think Shamrock Rovers will have one eye on Tuesday against Sparta Prague in the Champions League qualifiers lads as always let me know your thoughts in the comments going to get in there now I'll see you later So we've got the main man holding up Irish footy vlogs with Billy and we've got his uh, assistant with him, Keith. <laughs> Lads, how we doing? I'm only joking, I'm only joking. We've got the Irish for free, Sierra Lads, how are we doing? Are we well? Yeah. What's the score for tonight then? Um, I think there'll be two on Chamber Rovers in extra time, sadly. Oh, okay. You have to be honest as well, though. Extras? I, yeah, I went in the, in the video, as people will see in a few days, and see your video as well. I did say Shamrock Rovers win 2 1. However, I mentioned that before seeing that Dylan Watts and Johnny Kenny, who are highlighted as key men, <laughs> um, were on the bench. Yeah. So, I, I mean, don't know. I think the balls can often get themselves up for Dublin derbies. Never mind the Dublin derby, to be honest with you. Um, some of their performances have been poor against the rights of Dundalk, always slide, you know, exception teams are that in the league. So. It's going to be tight. It could go all the way, so it could be yeah. all night. Yeah. Look, I mean, those two were key. Look, Dylan Watts getting two assists and Johnny Kenny getting two goals. That's, look, that's where the creativity was yeah, coming yeah. from on Tuesday. Brilliant. I've seen last few weeks. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, he's been possibly their best player this season. Tonight. I think so. Yeah. And I think uh, Anderson behind us there, where he adores. But it's a Rovers as well. Generally, they've got the likes of Jack Byrne, Watts, Black Lane. Gary O'Neill, etc., etc. And you know they played very well against Vickenor as well. But this is an opportunity for Bowles. I think teams are always vulnerable after Europe. And Sam Cobb is technically one that makes it more difficult to tie than Bowles and Bailey yeah. for the FAI Cup, like you know, after Europe. So we'll see. Fair play. Lads, Irish for Fabrizio Romano. Pleasure. <laughs> Billy, cheers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, lads. Good things about the pie, man. But I called short of Shelburne last time, uh, Dane Mount versus Shelburne. I, uh, I'm going to go and get it as cut, it was cash only, and I only had cards. So I was called short this time, made no mistake about it, I had cash in the pocket. So I had good things. I'll tell you what, look at that. Flags, pie, water, peas, mash. 12th week. Gravy and all. Let's have a little crack at that. What? That. Now there's actually no competition. That is the best grub I've had in the league wide. I've come. Chicken, sausage, stuffed and pie. The pastry has got a little bit of crunch to it, not too much. The mash is nice and soft. The gravy is delicious. I'm a mushy pea man. I'm from England. I love a mushy pea. That is unbelievable, lads. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, by the way, the value for 12 quid. What else I'm beating? 12 quid for that. Food and a drink. Unbelievable stuff, lads. <laughs> Thank you. 
Live things up here, I'll tell you, it's absolutely rough in here, one bit five. On your boat. I need to put this game to bed now, all over for that goal. I need to put it to bed. I need that second goal. Lads, just back in the car after that game with Daily Mount Bows won. Shamrock Rovers nil. Well, that's why the thumbnail's called the Magic of the Cupper. Bows severely underdogs. One win in 11. Turn it around and win that game, uh, albeit a penalty. Um, it was going to be a moment like that that was going to win the game. Second half, come out. It's it quite flat in terms of the football, but the fans were good. Bows fans were right behind them again uh, from the off. A few changes for Rovers. They made four changes. I thought that might spark things for them. Actually, the momentum went in the way of Bose. Um, they went up the other end. It looked like a penalty to me. Anyway, the one that they won, Dale Rooney stepped up and he doesn't miss those, does he? Straight in the back of the old onion bag. Um, I thought Meegson was probably my man in match tonight for Bose. I thought he was solid at the back at centre-half. He's a big lad, though. Played centre-half. They put Jordan Flores out left-back. Seemed to have worked well for him. Um, lads, we're back live again on um, Wednesday. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as always. Thanks very much for tuning in. I've been Seb. This has been League of Irish Ball. Take care of yourselves. Good night.